Here's Kirtland coming up on the left side. Too far, Molinar, but taken away in deep. Here's Greco looking shot on that. Missed. How did he get cut off on that one? A beautiful play by Greco. Waited and went far side. And somehow Scoff had a piece of it and then had a rebound hit the side of the net. Five of them. Yeah, well, excuse me, Kukali. And break free. Here comes Greco, short-handed. Coming in, shot, and a big time save once again by Scoff. Nice hustle by Maruni. He will wave off any icing call. Now Patterson. Looks to feed it out to Andy Ryan. Blue line, there's a shot, redirected, bouncing puck. Covered up, Copley doesn't know where it's at, and he'll make the save. Nice attempt that time. Face off coming just left. Phoenix Copley. Johansson looking to spin away. He had O'Brien, hangs on to it though, right half wall. It's Chris Gulo on the left wing, look to pass off, hangs on to it, had Copley out of position, they score! Kyle Priscula, what a beautiful play there. He faked Copley out of his pants there, ended up hanging onto the puck when Copley thought he was gonna pass it. Kyle Priscula has himself a power play goal, his 21st of the season, a minute 57 into the second period, Sioux City goes up one nothing. Well, Chris Kulo coming in with uh, four points in his last five games, including three goals in that period. Now another one, what a terrific move. He talked about it, kind of faked Copley out. He came in, he waited, waited, and then found an opening near side, had all kinds of space, and pops it into the back of the net. Nice job by Chris Kulo. That was kind of a weird play because Chris Kulo was on the backhand, and Copley just thought he was going to pass that puck. He knocks the puck down. Now the defenseman Yarwood. Chris Kulo had his stick lifted. Kirtland's in there again. He passes off. Greco has some room. He takes a shot. Rebound follow up and another good save by Matt Scoff. Two in a span of about five seconds there. Comes right to Matt Sealer. A shot through traffic. Blocked by Ryan. Right to Greco. Rebound in front. They score. Kopitar is going to get the power play goal. Second goal in as many games for Gaspar Kopitar after Greco took the original shot. So the teams trade power play goals here in the second period. And Des Moines has tied the hockey game. Boy, Fergie almost had a chance as uh, Scott had a piece of the shot and bounces over and they separated. Well, they're still having words. He's <laughs> shoving him and now the referee has uh, to get involved. Well, you look at that monster hit by Maruni. It was a nice clean there hit. There we go. They're gonna go. Cody Maruni and Luke Bolton, you could see it coming from a mile away. Cody, Maruni, and Bolton squaring up in the neutral zone. Bolton, a hard right hand. Maruni goes down. The linesman get in right away. Couple late shots by both players. They're tied up, but still going at it. Finally, they're separated. They continue to have words. Maruni sweaters over his head, and that was a brief, but very active fight by both players. Gambardella looking for numbers. Samuels Thomas in the hook drop shot, and a goal. What a goal off right side, Zach Saar. That was a terrific pass to the right side. I think Scoff was expecting it to go left. Numbers for the Bucs, and they have their first lead of the game at the one minute, 27 second mark of the third period. Yeah, there's that musketeer killer again, Zach Saar. And Samuels Thomas is the player that originally gave the puck away high in the zone. Boucher Gould went the other way, and then Des Moines recovered, and did they ever go the other way in a hurry? Musketeers trailing by the score of two to one in the third period. Centering pass, jam shot, and... No, Scoff covers up. I think they were ready to celebrate. It was a great play. Centering pass, hacked in. Scoff somehow kept it from going in the net. And a quick shot. Robbins got blocked, picks up his own puck. Right circle in deep looking. Takes a shot out angle. Goal! On the rebound, Noah Nelson, team captain, has tied this game at 4 feet at the 14 22 mark. Nice attempt. Robbins started it off by keeping it in the zone. Gets the shot off. No one else on the doorstep. Looks for the rebound. Champs it for the five hole to tie it up. Yeah, that's what we've been talking about all period long, Curtis. Super City's just really simplified their game. Again, they, they generate a little bit of momentum after that power play chance. Robbins took the initial shot. It was blocked by Kopitar. Gathered the rebound, found the puck on right wing, found a little space, threw the puck on net, and another big rebound there for Copley. No one else and Johnny on the spot. Top of the right crease. Thanks at five hole on Copley. We are tied at two. Both have very good shots. Prow fake. Sealer, one time blister, another block. This time Andy Ryan. Out to Sealer, and he bobbled it. It goes out to center ice. Right handed shot, very good on the shootout. Great hands. And here comes Robbins. He will skate back and forth to the left, coming back to the right. Looks in. Still shot, and a goal! Got a beat! Look at that. He steered him off to the left side. Quick 
quickly moved right, got the back of the net, Sioux City one for one on the shootout. Now what a beauty, did he ever bite on that pump fake there, one extra step to the right, Copley down and out, Robbins has the Muskies on the board. Here comes now for the Buccaneers, Ethan Prowl, right-hander coming in on Scoff, looking back and poor shot, and a nice cover up. Oh wow, he kept it on its side, right at the line. Prowl coming in. Buccaneers 0 for 2. Sioux City scores here, they win it. Chris Kula can win it with a goal. Right handed shot, here he comes across the blue line. In on Copley, waits, looking, shot, a goal! That's it! The Musketeers win it, and they clinch the playoff spot. The Musketeers are in the Western Division playoffs, and they're going to dive right on Kyle Chris Kulo. That was Scott who took down Chris Kulo. What a move, Kyle comes in. Susani takes two out of three out of the shootout, and a big victory for the Musketeers. They clinch a playoff spot in the Western Division. That is now 27, 28 and one. That is good for 55 points on the season. A great finish. That is six out of six points for the Musketeers. Brad Robbins and Kyle Crescullo. And on the other side, Matt Scoff comes away with the shootout victory. And he ended up with 29 saves and stopped both attackers by the Des Moines Buccaneers.